Good day children. Today we are going to see a new chapter, numbers up to 200. In grade 1, we have already seen numbers up to 100. First, we will take a two digit number. I have taken 46. There are 6 ones and 4 tens. In Abacus, we can represent this number like this. In one's place, we just have to draw the beads according to the number in the respective places. There are 6 ones, so we will draw 6 beads in the 1's place. There are 4 tens, so we will draw 4 beads in the 10's place. Let us see the value of numbers in 1's and 10's place. We will take the same number, 46. The place value of the number in 1's place is 6 1's or 6. To find the place value of the number in 1's place, we multiply the number by 1. 6 1's are 6. To find the place value of the tens place number, we have to multiply the number by 10. So the place value of 4, which is in tens place, is 4 tens or 40, which is 4 into 10, which is equal to 40. Now, let's see the number 100. 99 plus 1 gives you 100. 99 is 9 tens plus 9 ones. You just have to add 1 to that. You get 9 tens plus 10 ones. You already know that 10 ones is 1 ten. So 10 tens make 100. So the place value of uh, 100 is you have to multiply the number in the hundreds place by 100. So 1 into 100 you get 100. In abacus you will represent 100. There is no ones so you don't draw any beats. In tens place also there is no number so you will not draw any beads. In hundreds place there is one so you will draw only one in the one bead in the hundreds place. Now let's see building numbers. Building numbers is just you have to add one. By adding one you build numbers. For example see hundred plus one you get hundred and one. Again if you add one you get the next number hundred and two. So if you add one you get the number after and it goes on and at last 199 plus 1 gives you 200. 200 has no ones, no tens, only two hundreds. Now we are going to see how to read a three digit number. Reading a three digit number. First read the number in hundreds place. Then read the number in tens place and ones place together. So first you have to read Read the hundreds place, then read the number in tens place and ones place together. It is 149. 149. So the same way only you will write the number names. You will write the hundreds place and you will write the number name for the tens place and ones place together. It is, now we will see 131. It is 100. You write together. It is 31. Now see one more example. 125. So you write first 100. Then you will write 25 together. If you are given the number name and asked to write the number, it's so easy. Just see, 100. So you write number 1. This 63. So you write the number for 63. It is 63. Here, 100. So 1. It's only 8. 8 is a single digit number. So there is no tens place. If there is no tens place, you will write 0. Write 0 and you will write this number 8. So it is 108. Thank you.